but Africans are not really known for playing villains in Hollywood movies. So what villains is he talking about? I did notice from the few videos I watched and clips that he is very, very articulate. Like when you listen to him narrate something or talk about something, his choice of words is really advanced. So in addition to being uh, uh, funny, he also is eloquent, which to me just adds a level of respect to his, to his uh, craft. So let's see what Dave Chappelle has to say about African villains. Let's go. I was on a plane. <laughs> I, I, was coming, I was coming from overseas and uh, I don't know how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man. He said, everybody get on the fucking ground. Nobody look at my face. <laughs> I started freaking out because he was Chinese. I was like, why is he talking about that? <laughs> he was screaming and crying. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over. There was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I, I looked over at him. He was looking right in my face, man. How did you know he was from Nigeria? How did you know? How would you know by looking at him that he's from Nigeria? Or how did you know just by looking at him that he was Nigerian? Question, questions, questions. He didn't say two words to me. He just looked at me. He was like... <laughs> He didn't need to talk. I know just what he's talking about. I look right back at him. I was like, "Wait, the, the, it's a hostage situation. The plane has been hijacked or plane jacked, whatever you call the jack when it's happening in the air." So, what is going on? Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us. They were like, "Oh my god!" I think those black guys are gonna try to save us. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. We were just communicating that we understood the situation. We were both seeing the same thing. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. That's the truth. I have yet to see one of us on the news oh reading the hostage letters. Um, mm. They is treating us good. Oh my God. Uh, we all chilling and shit. <laughs> uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and uh, <laughs> Jason Newport. Uh, no black person. No black person in a hostage situation would be giving a shout out to Ray Ray and whoever. Believe me, it's a, it's a scary situation to be in. I don't think so, but it's, it's, it's so funny. I, I love Dave Chappelle already. You're not gonna see it. And terrorists are smart, they know what they're doing there, you know. They terrorists. They know black people's bad bargaining chips. They called the White House, hello, we have got five black, hello. Uh, <laughs> that is funny, that is funny. That was funny, that was really, really funny. I remember when the COVID started in the, in the, in, the, in China, I was in China and I came to China in 2019, right? Just before the COVID, uh, the COVID started. I came in September, COVID started in around November, in December 19, uh, January 19, around that period. And immediately COVID started. Immediately there were even rumors about COVID. The American embassy sent out a notice evacuating all Americans from China. America does not play with its, with its citizens. Now, we had some American guys in my class who were learning Chinese alongside me, and uh, they were all whites. So, uh, I, I wonder if... I mean, what they, I understand that Dave Chappelle is joking. Uh, it's, it's a joke, and I get that, I understand that. But I wonder if it is based in some true stories of African Americans who got abandoned in dangerous situations overseas. 
I'm just wondering, you know, is it just a comedy and there's nothing to it? Or is it actually a reflection of how black people are treated? But once the COVID started, the Americans were quickly evacuated. But I did understand from that incident that America doesn't play with its citizens. Like if there's an American in any place, you better not harm that American citizen or you're going to get in trouble. So it's kind of surprising for me to hear that exceptions are made for black people or black people are treated in a way that is different. If you're black American and you're in that situation, you probably don't have a lot of hope that American reputation for being a caring and a dedicated, a dedicated nation to its citizens kind of falls apart when it's a black citizen. Now, I'm not saying that Dave is, I understand he's not a teacher, he's not a history teacher, he's not a politician, so he's just, uh, he's just being funny. So guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me if in, indeed you feel safe, you would feel safe as an American or as a black American uh, in a situation like that. And if you would be so comfortable to think that you will not be taken as a hostage. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.